Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Dorkside Cookies. Now, today we're not cooking anything or sharing a recipe or anything like that. This is another of our videos where I wander through the store, I see something very interesting, and in order to justify buying it, I uh, shoot a video about it. So, In this case, it is a potato chip by Ruffles called Flame Grilled Cheeseburger. Um, we actually hope it tastes like a flame grilled cheeseburger, but uh, you never know. Uh, There's no as... hope. It will. <laughs> He's very optimistic. <laughs> I've been looking at this bag for three days now, and I just like, I don't even really like potato chips. <laughs> so it's just something appealing, like flame grilled cheeseburger ruffles. I, I love prefixes to foods and how what it does to marketing, right? Like it's it's Tahitian. Like your, yeah, like your idea of vanilla. Go yeah, for it. It's it's like Tahitian Madagascar and vanilla. What sense does that even make? It doesn't. But you just like throw in a bunch of things. For some reason, you throw the word Madagascar in front of something. It must be expensive and rare. Yes. Maybe it is. I don't like know. Madagascar, bourbon, vanilla, pumpkin or... spice. You just everything. start throwing pumpkin spice in front of everything and it will sell more. S'mores. It can't Especially just be chocolate summer. and sugar. No, no, no. It's s'mores flavor. Suddenly it sells more. Absolutely. Well, you want my attention? You better put some meat on that thing. So cheeseburger <laughs> ruffles. Actually, I think it's, it's going to be horrible because I ate my cheeseburger plain and this, this burger looks like it has... Some chives on it or something. Oh, it has... Well, it has lettuce and tomatoes and stuff. Let's open it. Let's All just, right, let's I, go. I can't wait anymore. Uh, the first whip. Oh. It smells like peanuts gone wrong. That... That is a fully loaded cheeseburger. Mmm, mmm, mmm. We'll see what it tastes We're gonna, like. It's, it's no longer joy, Internet. This is... This is now a suffering for you. For you guys trying out these things. Mm. Okay. Ready mm -hmm. for this? All right, here we go. One, two, three. I was waiting to see if it's any good enough. Okay, all right. One, <laughs> two, three. Oh. He yeah, agrees this is what I'm thinking. <laughs> What'd they do to this thing? Mustard. My foot is? Oh yeah, there's some. Oh, that one was a really bad mustard ketchup mix. This is a McDonald's cheeseburger flavor. This is McDonald's plain old che cheeseburger, the little tiny ones. With the chopped up little onions. Oh. And the, the ketchup and mustard. All right. I, I like McDonald's burgers specifically because of the chopped up onions. Dude, I like... Yeah, you're going to take these home with you. Yeah, these are all yours. Anyway, so they say the ingredients are, of course, potatoes. That makes sense. Vegetable oil. Okay, don't list all the ingredients. Just the ones that are interesting. Cheeseburger seasonings. Made from corn. Um, obviously, our dogs like it. You want that? They're very interested in it. Yeah, you can have that. I don't know if you should have that, but okay. Oh, well, too late now. Yeast, natural smoked flavor, um, an artificial flavor including natural bacon type flavor, onion powder, spices, cream, whey, tomato powder, medium cheese, I don't know what that is, cheddar cheese-ish, Swiss cheese. Nothing about mustard seed, though. Artificial lettuce flavor, though. See, that's, I think far more interesting is things that I'm not used to seeing in food, like artificial lettuce flavor. Oh, yeah, it's right there. Yeah. Artificial lettuce flavor. Mm, tomato powder. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see the mustard seed, but I'm sure it's in there. Well, because it says spices. Yeah. Right? So spices could mean mustard powder or something that tastes like mustard powder. I don't know. Dude, if you like the McDonald's 
cheeseburgers, the cheapy, cheapy cheeseburgers, then you're gonna love these chips because that's what they really do taste like. Oh, mind you, they don't smell like that, but they do taste like that. I was robbed. Well, now, yeah. I, now I gotta go find yet another like novelty flavor and film another video where I'm happy. Not, not forlorn. Not disappointed. And tears are going to my eyes. Well, <sighs> hopefully your adventures in food turn out better than this one. And maybe if you don't like mustard, Maybe if you don't like lettuce or tomato. I didn't even think about the toppings of a sandwich, a hamburger yeah. that I hate, that this would exactly taste like. And it really does. It has all that, it has artificial lettuce flavoring. Yeah. Like what in the world's that? I mean, lettuce does have a flavor and any of you guys who say it doesn't, mm -mm, it really okay. does. So um, for authenticity, I, I actually thumbs up. It tastes like some sort of weird cheap Cheese cheeseburger. cheeseburger. Um, I just now realize I don't want it to ever taste like a real cheap cheeseburger. Mm -mm. No, yeah, yeah. no boy, no. But now maybe I'll make barbecue cheeseburgers tomorrow. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. Uh, until next time, uh, this has been Dorkside Cookies. Click like, click subscribe. Um, if you've been severely disappointed by a food that you built up in your own mind over multiple days, <laughs> post it down below. <laughs> share my misery. <laughs> Buy these chips if you, if you really want to share my misery. Um, sorry, Ruffles. Uh, no bueno. No, no bueno. bueno. All right. Bye, everyone. Oh, my goodness. You're going to die. So the Las Vegas 51's baseball team is hosting a superhero night tonight in honor of my charity. It's a whole big thing. And I have to throw out the first pitch. And I am horrified and nervous. I cannot even tell you how stressed I am because not only is everyone expecting Wonder Woman to throw it out of the park, right. I'm nervous when I twist, I'm gonna have like a wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> and I'm gonna be like an internet sensation, but it's gonna kill my charity work. <laughs>